Hello and welcome to another video in the events tutorial series. One of the commonest questions is how to fade pictures in and out and other special effects for things like chapter announcements or cutscene posters. So in this video we'll be focusing on fading pictures in and out. This is a multi-parter so in part two I'll show how tinting can be used for some of the cool effects. So let's see a demo first. As you can see, the image fades in along with the chapter and subtitle, and then it fades out. It then transports the party to the appropriate map. Now there are two ways we can do this. The first method may seem complex first glance, but actually it's quite simple. However, before starting, I'd recommend that for each chapter you create a new blank map with the submaps appearing below them. Just like how I've set here, I've created a simple parent child. Uh, system. The reason for this is that right before each map displays you'll have a brief glimpse of the map before the picture appears which makes it look really untidy and unprofessional. You can use fade in fade out effects but I don't find that effective at all. So this in my opinion is the simplest and best one to use. So in each one of your chapter maps create a new event and set the trigger to auto run. In the contents we change the transparency to on. This um, prevents your character from appearing briefly before fading in and out for the picture. Next we'll show the picture we want, in this case it's chapter 2a, and set the opacity to 0. We'll use move picture for the fade in and fade out. Um, keep the opacity at tw to 55 and set the duration to around 280 and make sure wait for completion is checked it usually is by default anyway we need to move the picture again this time setting the opacity to 0 and the duration to say to 40. For some reason the pictures seem to fade more quickly in than fading out to if the duration is the same. I don't know why this happens or if it's just kind of like one of those illusion things that we have. Anyway, erase the picture picture number one and then transfer the player to the appropriate sub map somewhere there and of course we still have to reset the transparency otherwise characters on the map will just appear as completely invisible. And that's about it. You don't really need to do anything else at this point. I usually like putting an erase event there, closing it. On a side note, if you're not planning on using the map again, then use erase event, which is considered as a temporary termination of the event. It will also save on additional switches if you do reuse the map, 
the event will reload each time that you visit the map. So if you are planning on reusing it, then just add a control switch. We won't do it here. And then turn it on. And then new page with the switch activated and action button. And then that way, whenever the new map is loaded, it won't load this auto run. With no other things that we need to do, let's test it out again. Picture fades in, stays on screen for a bit, and then it'll fade out and transfer the player to the map, just like it did before. Now another way of doing it is through a common event. In my opinion this is a better way of creating chapter pictures because everything is one place. There's a lot of repetition involved but using common events rather than putting them on each map is a lot easier to keep track. It's up to you which method that you use. They, they do the same thing. Alright, in the database, create a new common event and we'll use a conditional branch using a variable. I've used variable 1 for this and then set it to the chapter number. In this case it would be 2. Um, you could always you could also use set this variable to zero for the prologue if you wanted to and in this conditional branch we'll use the same event commands as before what I'll do is I will copy and paste from chapter this one although we don't need these three yet <coughs> that reminds me of something So we will delete these while we're at it. Okay, back to the common event. Underneath this would be our show and move and erase pictures and transfer. And what I was reminded of is right at the beginning, we changed the transparency to on. And that would that would turn it off. And on the map. So repeat this same method with the other chapters using a separate using a separate conditional branch and then changing the variable the variable amount as an example and then obviously you would change the picture name all right, so when we use our chapter map run events, we can use three lines of, of the contents instead of what was it, six? Oh, um, back in the common events, right at the end of all of the conditional branches we change the transparency back to off such an oversight we would have had invisible invisible characters on the map anyway this this way instead of recycling on each map you can have them all in one place and then we would call it in the common events as a common event right so we change our variable in this case we set one and change it to the chapter number which would be two in our case and then call a common event that 
would display the image and again a closing command isn't really necessary but I I don't know what it is I really do like just putting erase event to close it whichever method you choose the same results are achieved so it's just a matter of preference I guess so when we play test it again it should work the same way fade in stay on screen fade out transfer and that's the end of this events tutorial uh, the next one I'll try to upload it tomorrow but definitely Thursday because Wednesday is my birthday and I'm not going to do a damn thing except play games if you have any ideas for future event tutorials comment below and be sure to subscribe for more videos or visit RPG Maker Times on its blog its Twitter or its Facebook page the links are below thanks for watching until the next time